we are into transfer pricing and we have learned all the six methods of computation of arm's length price. In this lecture, we are going to learn what is the range concept and why range concept was introduced in income tax law by rule 10 CA. My dear friend, it is very much possible that whenever there is an associate enterprise and associate enterprises have done two types of transaction. One can be a sale transaction and one can be an expense transaction, income transaction and expense transaction. And you know that whenever associate enterprises have done the transaction with another associate enterprise, a related party, this price that is transaction value may not be the true value. It may be manipulative value. It might be a value which is resulting for base erosion and profit shifting. Now we have to compare this value with arm's length price. One of the method of arm's length price which is most used is a comparable uncontrolled price method that is cup method. And when you apply cup method in this case, okay, you are getting multiple data, okay, multiple data, not one data. There are various data that you are getting because this Indian entity is doing transactions, so many transactions which are unrelated, okay. If there is only one unrelated data, obviously we will directly compare. If there are two, if there are three, if there are four, then we will take this four data divided by four. Please understand, we will take simple arithmetical average. Simple arithmetical means if the data is up to five. If data numbers is up to five, we will take the average. If data is more than five, if more than five transactions, that is six or more transactions are there, which are uncontrolled transaction, comparable transaction, obviously it will be very difficult for us to have the arithmetical mean and arithmetical mean may not give us a valid range. Say for example, you are doing a thousand data, then what will you do? Hundreds data. So in that case, we have to apply the range concept to make the arrangement of data more comparable, more sensible. Now obviously the prices will not be same here. If prices are same, then there is no, no issue. The prices are different because prices are different. Obviously, my dear friends, the difference in the price is controlled by or is influenced by so many factors. Demand supply ratio, uh, foreign exchange ratio, economical conditions, quantity discount, economic relation, uh, you know, uh, uh, warranty, with warranty, without warranty. So many factors will be there which are giving you different, different values. But all the values should be determined by the most appropriate method. If there is one more than one method data is given, cup method data or resale price data and cost plus data, you have to take one of the most appropriate method. In that most appropriate, you are having multiple data, isn't it? So what will you do? We will take a very simple example. There are 10 transactions. Say for example, 10, 10 transactions. First value is 100. Second value is 120 third value is 140, fifth value of the transaction 150, sixth value 180, seventh value 200, eighth value uh, your um, 250, ninth value 280 and tenth value, tenth value 300. Okay, this is the data set I have arranged. Now if you see me, I have arranged data in ascending order because whenever we take mid mode median, we have to arrange data in a logical sequence and here they have said, they have asked us in rule number 10 CA, they are asking us to do it in ascending order. All these are comparable uncontrolled prices, please understand, all this, okay. So sir, we should we take whichever is lower or whichever is higher? No, we will not take whichever is lower, whichever is higher. We have to apply the range concept. So how do we apply the range concept? So here, because the data set is sixth or more, we cannot take simple average, we have to take lower range and high range. The low range is the 35th percentile. Okay, all these things are written here. The low range is the 35th percentile of the data set. Now in total data set, we are having 10 values. 35th will be 3.5. On 3.5, we don't have any value. Do you see? On 3.5, we don't have any value. So what should you do? So then we will take the next higher. Next higher number is fifth. What is the value on fifth? So this is 150. So 150 is my low range. Please understand 150 is my low range. So then we have to, this is, this is the low range. Then we have to take the 65th percentile. 65th percentile is, my dear friends, 65th percentile is 6.5. On 6.5 also, there is no value. 6.1, 6.2, 6.8, there is no value. Okay. There is directly value on the next higher and next higher is 200. So that is my higher range. Please understand. 200 is my high range. So 150 is my low, low range, 200 is my high range. 
if you have done the transaction at 160, this is your actual transaction value, 160, 165, uh, 170, then we don't have any problem because you are doing within the range, within the range of low and high. But if you have done the transaction at 120, 80, 70 or 500, 600, then there is something wrong. Then these values will be ignored. These values will be ignored. And now we have to determine arm's length price. Till now we have not determined arm's length price. I hope you understand. We have just determined the lower range and higher range. If the value is within the range, then we will not apply the, the arm's length price because we will accept the value given by you. There won't be any TP adjustment. Your income will not be recomputed. You are giving, you are given a buffer margin. You can say this is an exit route from the transfer pricing application. Okay. So if you done the transaction within this range, that is a safe range, you are excluded. If you are doing the doing the transaction outside the range, then we have to determine arm's length price. So there are 10 values. How to do arm's length price? Now take the 50th percentile. A 50th percentile will be the mid value, isn't it? 50th percentile will be the mid value. I guess I have not taken the fourth value, but okay. We will take just this is the if this was the fourth one, then I am taking the fifth value here. Okay. The fifth value, say for example, is 170. Fifth value is a 170. Now fifth value is 170 value. This will be your arm's length price. Ideally, we should think about that. But because the fifth value is a complete number, isn't it? 50 percent of the data set is a complete value. Whenever it is a complete value, they say. Whenever it is an incomplete value, they say take the next higher value. And whenever it is a complete value, they say take the fifth value and the next highest value. So the fifth value is fifth value is 170. The next higher value is the sixth value that is 180. And they are saying then do the average. Okay, do the plus and average. So 170 plus 180. 170 plus 180 is equal to. is equal to 350, 350 divided by 2, 350 divided by 2 is equal to 175, 175 will be your arm's length price, this is how we are computing, obviously I am showing you the proper theory, after theory I will show you one more practical illustration. Sir, rule 10CA, when more than one price is determined by most appropriate method, only one method, please understand, only one method, not multiple methods. So what we will do sir, we will compute the arm's length price as under. How? First we have to arrange the whole data set in an ascending order. This is also very important. They may, they may not give you data in ascending order. They will give the data in mixed order. You have to put the data in ascending order. Then they take the, then the count total number of samples given by them. The total samples may be 8, 9, 10, 15. If it is up to 5th, then don't, you don't have to apply this 35th and 65th percentile. You just simply take arithmetical average, assume that it is 6 or more, then we have to apply the lower range. The lower range is the 35th percentile and 65th percentile of the data set. If the price at which the international transaction or specified domestic transaction has actually been undertaken within the range, within the 35th percentile range and 65th percentile range, if the transaction is done within the range, then such international transaction or specified transaction has actually be taken shall be deemed to be arm's length price. Meaning thereby your transaction value will become arm's length price. We will not challenge your transaction value. But if you have done the price outside, outside the arm's length range, please understand, outside the arm's length range, then we have to take a median, please understand, we have to take the median of the data set and median of the data set is the 50th value. Please understand, in case there is a less than 6 entries in the data set, then you have to take simply arithmetical mean, this is the theory concept. So, 35th percentile, how do we compute? The total sample data into 35th divided by 100, 65th percentile will be 65 divided by 100 and the median is equal to 50 divided by 100. These are the numbering that we have to do. Now, whenever the number is the incomplete number of fractional number, the next higher number which is the whole number, the next higher number which is the whole number shall be taken as a value in the data set place. Please understand this will be this will be happening at 35th, this will also happen at 65th and this will also happen for median. If the number is the whole number, okay, the moment the number is the whole number, then we have to take arithmetical average of the data set of this number and the value set next higher number shall be the 35th or 65th percentile or even median. Let's look at the example. 
from the following prices have been determined arms length price using the comparable uncontrolled price method so you can see only by using cup method they have determined all these values how many values are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 total 20 values are there okay so 20 samples are there and uh, because i wanted to save your time so i have arranged or data already in ascending order it might happen in exam that they might not give you data in ascending order you have to apply data in ascending order okay so my lower number is 90 my higher number is 130 now i have to take 35th percentile and 65th percentile a 34th total value set is 20 a 35th percentile is a 7 now 7 is the complete number my dear friend 7 is a complete number therefore this value plus the next value so 107 plus 1110 is equal to 217, 217 divided by 2, isn't it? So, 270 divided by 2, my 35th percentile value is equal to 108.5. This is my low range, okay. Similarly, we will take the 20 into 65th. 20 into 65th is the 13th number. Please understand, 20 into is the 13th number. What is the value on 13th number? 118. 118 is the whole number therefore sorry 13 is the whole number therefore we will take 13 and the next higher value so 118 plus 119 is equal to 236 divided by 2 so 11 118 plus 119 237 divided by 2 is equal to 118.5 okay this is my high range if you have done the transaction above 108.5 and up to 118.5 whatever transaction value you are showing between this will be accepted as it is without challenging it but if you do the transaction outside this my dear friend then we have to apply the median the median on the data set will be the 50th value so 20 into 50 percent is equal to 10 so what is the value on 10th number value on 10th number is 114 because the 10th is a full number again i have to take the next higher number so that is 11th value 114 plus 116 114 plus 116 is equal to 230 230 divided by 2 is equal to 115 will be my arms length price i hope you understood this look at this since the whole number in arithmetical mean value is 7 and 8 shall be the 35th value so 107 plus 110 is equal to 108 this is my low range okay the 65th value is 13 because it is a whole number 13 is the whole number we have to take arithmetical mean of the 13th and 14 to be the 65th value so that is 118 plus 119 divided by 2 that is 118.5 we have to take the median median is 50th percentile and that is 10 because 10 is also a whole number we have to take value on 10th value on 11th and then take arithmetical average so my arms length price in case if you don't do the transaction within the range will be 115 look at this if SEC exports the goods, please understand export means income side, export the goods within the range of 108 and 118, then the arm's length price at which goods are exported shall be the ALP. Let's say goods are exported to the associate enterprise at 109. Obviously, it is within the range. The actual transaction price is the arm's length price and no adjustment is required. However, if the goods are exported to associate enterprise at 100, and there are total 10 lakh goods that quantity you have exported then the arms length price no, will not be 100 you are trying to show lower income whereas arms length price is 115 that means income will be increased by 15 per unit in, income will be increased by 15 per unit by multiply by 10 lakh rupees so total 150 lakh will be added as the arms length value uh, adjustments or transfer pricing adjustment in your total income so this is how we play with a range concept I believe this is a little difficult or you know is something new that you are learning for the first time. I advise you to practice this for at least two to three times to get the con control over this concept of range. Thank you.